think I messed up my mash. Or did I just unlock secret beer magic? Exposing the truth about longer mashes and marathon boils, let's get into it. Here's the deal. During the mash, your grain starches turn into the sugars your yeast craves. Most folks stick to about 60 minutes. Why? Because it's the sweet spot. You get clear, tasty beer, and the enzymes do their thing. Sure, going a bit longer, say 75 or 90 minutes, can squeeze out a little more sugar and give your beer a nice polish. You'll see smoother fermentation and a crystal clear pour. But watch out, leave it too long, and your mash cools down, inviting bacteria to the party. Nobody wants a sour surprise. Plus, after two hours, those hard-working enzymes get tired. You won't see much more improvement. Now what about boiling? Longer boils can build up big flavors. Think toasty, caramel, even a bump in alcohol for those heavyweight brews. But it'll also darken your beer and zap some delicate flavors. Great for stouts, but maybe not your summer lager. So what's the move? Stick to 60-minute mashes and boils for most brews. Go longer if you're after bold, dark, or boozy styles. Brewing's all about balance and taste testing. So have fun, keep notes, and remember, sometimes less really is more.